Combs allegedly planned and controlled performances, which he called freak offs. And he often electronically recorded them. Now, Combs did not do this all on his own. As I mentioned, Combs has been charged with RICO conspiracy. He used his business and employees of that business and other close associates to get his way. I'm the only one who's not offended by his brass approach and he's not offended by mine. So, you know, we play rough. Diddy's freak off tapes have resurfaced and now they're being used in a new trial that could bring his empire crashing down. But what does T.I. have to say about all this? He's been to those parties. He's seen what Diddy gets up to when he's drunk. Um, So is it possible that T.I. knows more than he's letting on? And could he even be a victim of the madness that's about to be exposed in court? As alleged, when Combs didn't get his way, he was violent and he subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal so that they would participate in the freak offs. Just when you thought the Diddy saga couldn't get any wilder, we're hit with another bombshell. We all know Diddy has a history of throwing some, let's say, wild parties. But now the US attorney claims they've recovered tapes from these infamous freak offs. Combs allegedly planned and controlled performances, which he called freak offs and he often electronically recorded them. That's right, tapes that could hold the key to understanding the real Diddy. And uh, one name that keeps coming up, T.I., the same T.I. who for years has hinted that Diddy's behavior goes off the rails when the drinks start flowing. I've got all the receipts right here, but let's take a trip down memory lane first. You might remember that T.I. has been vocal about Diddy's crazy parties for a long time. There's even footage of T.I. at some of these parties where, let's be honest, things look pretty out of control. Here's the thing, Diddy doesn't just throw parties, he throws freak offs, parties where anything goes, but it seems like the drinks weren't the only thing flowing freely. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother. But T.I. is not the first person to expose these shady parties. Many celebrities have joked about how Diddy's behavior takes a strange turn when gets involved. He mentioned how these parties tend to get a little too gay, whatever that might mean, when Diddy starts hitting the bottle. Celebrities who talk about Diddy now often recall his legendary parties from the 1990s, which helped cement his reputation as Hollywood's undisputed party king. But if Puff was and still is a party animal, it's reasonable to assume that his problematic behavior is a direct result of his inebriation. In fact, um, let's take a look at one of the more infamous moments that happened on the show Drink Champ. I got it. Mr. Lee. What, yeah, I love this drink champ. you put my bag I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bag Daddy, yeah, I like when, you, oh, when you're right scrambling here, right and here. scraping. No, 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 I, got I no like that. Shit, you know? Now, you'd think Diddy would be aware of how uncomfortable this kind of behavior makes people, but in that clip, he didn't seem to notice. The atmosphere shifted, and it became pretty clear that alcohol wasn't helping the situation. But... That wasn't all. Diddy's drinking led him to say and do some pretty sketchy stuff during the rest of his appearance. Did you miss me though? Mm. For real, because we, I'm saying, miss, it seems like a thing. I it miss his birthday with party. Puff, man, man I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? Yeah, you heard that right. Diddy straight up challenged Fab on whether or not they've actually partied together, raising some eyebrows about the kind of partying Diddy really wanted to get into. And we're not done yet. Diddy's erratic behavior on Drink Champs left everyone on edge as he continued to drink heavily throughout the episode. But perhaps one of the most shocking stories comes from his ex-bodyguard Gene Deal, who claimed that in the early 2000s, he and Diddy got drunk and took a bizarre trip to a foreign bookstore. What did they buy? A bag of S toys, including B plugs. I said, yo, what are you getting this for? <laughs> and it said plugs, and he was like, yo, yo, can I do my shopping by myself? I said, yeah. Gene found the situation hilarious and odd, but things didn't stop there. According to him, Diddy carried these purchases with him to North Carolina for a concert and kept drinking champagne on the way. When they arrived, things got even more bizarre. 
Diddy went to rapper Ja Rule's hotel room where he was planning to use his purchases with him. Jean recalled that Ja's cousin came unexpectedly and insisted on surprising Ja Rule at his hotel. And when Jean tried to stop him, Diddy wouldn't have it. What happened next has been shrouded in mystery for years. After entering Ja Rule's hotel suite, both men were seen hours later wrapped in towels with no explanation of what had gone down inside. Often Ja Rule runs out the room Puff got his towel, jaw grabbing his towel, but they the And if you think that's the end of the rumors surrounding Diddy's bizarre behavior, think again. The Game, another rapper who's had his own encounters with Diddy, made some shocking revelations himself. While appearing on Drink Champs, Game talked about his strained relationship with his brother, Big Phase 100, who later posted and then deleted a photo on Instagram, hinting that there might be more to Diddy and Game's relationship than just music. In the since-deleted post, Big Phase 100 shared a photo of Diddy hugging Game from behind with a caption. Maybe it wasn't my street credibility, suggesting there's a lot more going on here than we know. And let's not forget what 50 Cent has been saying about the hip hop mogul. You see, the G-Unit leader once made it clear that he has reservations about attending Diddy's notorious parties, which have been shrouded in mystery and the focus of endless gossip. During an unspecified concert, 50 Cent candidly shared with an amused audience that he deliberately avoids puffy parties. That's why I'll be going to the puffy parties. Uh -huh. you for the front and the back at the same time. 50 Cent has made a habit of poking fun at Diddy over rumors surrounding his S orientation. In the world of hip hop, where rumors and gossip are almost as prevalent as the music itself, it's essential to understand how these rumors took root. It all started with a story 50 Cent shared about the time Diddy allegedly offered to take him shopping and pay for his new clothes. This incident became a focal point for 50's playful jabs at Diddy. According to 50, Diddy's offer left him bewildered. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? Diddy, however, later explained it away as a gesture of kindness, claiming that he thought 50 needed new clothes. I thought he needed some clothes. He doesn't even know what he's saying. He's like, what? I'm a nice guy. While Diddy attempted to brush it off as a harmless offer, fans had a different perspective. They questioned why a successful artist like 50 Cent, who clearly had the means to buy his own clothes, would receive such an offer. This incident was just the beginning of the intrigue surrounding Diddy's behavior. The feud took an unexpected turn when Diddy made a high profile appearance on the popular podcast, Drink Champs, alongside rapper Fabulous. The episode went viral with fans and media outlets dissecting every moment of the conversation. 50 Cent, true to form, couldn't resist the opportunity to stir the pot. He took to Instagram, posting a picture of himself in a hospital bed, surrounded by stuffed animals, accompanied by the word, currently recovering from pettiness. In the caption, 50 Cent wrote, sorry, I can no longer help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all left under the leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. These comments, as expected, set off a fresh wave of speculation and commentary. What was 50 Cent insinuating? Was there something more significant beneath the surface? While 50's words were undoubtedly laced with humor, they raised concerns about the industry's secrets and hidden agendas. It's worth noting that 50 had previously addressed a similar situation a few months ago. This happened when a photo went viral showing Lil Baby being embraced by billionaire Michael Rubin and Kyle Cosma at Rubin's exclusive white party in the Hamptons. The image of this embrace raised eyebrows as Ruben is over 20 years older than a uh, little baby. Many found it inappropriate and it prompted discussions about the nature of these interactions at such parties. 50 Cent posted this particular photo on his Instagram account and even though Diddy wasn't present at Ruben's party, the image appeared to trigger memories of similar situations at Puffy's gatherings. In his characteristic style, 50 Cent couldn't resist commenting, see, this is why I don't go to no party Puffy and them at, what the F is going on here. Then there's the surviving Diddy documentary. Last year, a representative for 50 Cent confirmed to TMZ that the 48 year old rapper's production company, G-Unit Films and Television, is developing a documentary about the allegations against Combs. 
The said proceeds from the documentary will benefit victims of S.A. and R. Jackson teased a snippet of the documentary on Instagram on Wednesday. In the clip, former Bad Boy Records rapper Mark Curry said combs would spike bottles of moe with a substance that would make women at nightclubs slippery. Curry alleged that combs would tell his friends and associates not to drink from certain bottles. Yeah, they'd been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. While promoting his documentary, 50 Cent took shots at rapper Rick Ross and Diddy. He highlighted a controversial line from a verse on the Rocco song, You O Eno, where Ross raps, put Molly all in her champagne, she ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even know it. The disturbing lyrics added to the criticism surrounding both Ross and Diddy. Anyway, fast forward to today. Diddy is in hot water. The U.S. attorney has revealed they found tapes from those freak-off parties and the evidence isn't looking good for him. Combs allegedly planned and controlled performances, which he called freak-offs. And he often electronically recorded them. These tapes could potentially expose everything. And yes, I mean everything. From what really happened behind closed doors to the horrifying details about Diddy's involvement with his victims. And here's where things get interesting. The tapes aren't just evidence of Diddy's parties. They might be the smoking gun that ties him to crimes that go far beyond just partying and T.I. He's been a witness to Diddy's party behavior from day one. So what does he have to say now that these tapes have entered the picture? While T.I. hasn't outright accused Diddy of anything major in the past, he's certainly hinted at the strangeness of Diddy's parties. And now, with these tapes in the spotlight, everyone's wondering, is T.I. holding back some serious dirt on Diddy? Could he have known all along about what was going on, or could he even be one of the many witnesses to Diddy's crimes? It's hard to say. T.I. hasn't made any public statements directly tied to the tapes yet, but some fans believe he's been shocked by the new developments. And who wouldn't be? When someone you partied with for years suddenly has their dark secrets exposed to the world, it's bound to rattle you. But here's the question on everyone's mind. Does T.I. know more than he's letting on? It's a disturbing thought, but with the tapes now in play, anything is possible. As Diddy's trial continues, the world will be watching closely. The freak off tapes are undoubtedly damaging, but the involvement of other celebrities like T.I. could make this case even more explosive. The next few weeks will be crucial as more evidence comes to light and more questions about Diddy's parties and who attended them are answered. But one thing's for sure, T.I. is no longer in the background. Whether he likes it or not, his connection to Diddy has pulled him back into the spotlight and the public will be waiting for more clarity on his involvement. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.